This video has been brought to you by Square Enix. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another Mobius Final Fantasy video. Today, we're going to be diving into the job system for Mobius and I'll be explaining how it works and exactly what it is. The job system for Mobius was quite a big focus for Square Enix when developing this game and it uses the traditional job system Final Fantasy started with. This is a pretty big point for longtime fans of the series because it means they can become pretty familiar with the jobs and their lore straight off the bat. Upon first starting Mobius, you'll have access to three jobs. The Onion Knight, Apprentice Mage, and Neophyte Ranger. The Onion Knight is your classic melee warrior styled job. This guy is your courageous massive sword wielding hero whose preferred elements are fire, water, and earth. This means that the Onion Knight uses ability cards that are of those elements and can resist those elements while in the battlefield too. If the ability card isn't one of the preferred elements, it means that the job will not be able to use that card. The Onion Knight focuses mainly on the attack and defense stats. Next is the Apprentice Mage. This is the classic magic based job whose preferred elements are fire, water and wind. This class focuses more so on the magic stat and has access to deadly magic based ability cards. And lastly is the Neophyte Ranger, who is your classic rogue styled job. His preferred elements are water, wind and earth and focuses on the speed and critical chance stat. Before you enter each mission you'll get a quick summary of what elemental based creatures you'll be facing. This information is important because you'll be wanting to use the stronger element against whatever element the creatures are. For instance, if the mission contains a fire based boss, then you'll want to use water based abilities against the boss as well as have resistance against fire. Someone like the Onion Knight or Apprentice Mage would be best suited for this as they have access to water based abilities and can also resist against fire, whereas the Neophyte Ranger can use water based abilities but can't necessarily resist against fire. At the end of each mission you'll collect skill seeds. Skill seeds are also elemental based meaning that they come in fire, water, wind, earth, etc. Skill seeds are used to purchase all sorts of different upgrades for your job. These upgrades include more HP, attack increase, magic increase, improved power breaks, new weapons, and more. Each upgrade requires a different amount of skill seeds and sometimes might even require you to have a certain amount of two different elemental seeds. When you complete a skill panel, you'll then have access to a more powerful version of your job. For example, I completed the skill panel for the Onion Knight, which then gave me access to upgrade to Warrior. Doing this will unlock a whole new skill panel with even more upgrades and eventually will give you access to an even more powerful version of your job. Upgrading your job will not only make you stronger, but will also change the appearance of your character as well. There are many different jobs in Mobius, but the three I just went over are what you'll have access to when you first start the game. More jobs can be purchased with summon tickets in the shop. Doing this will grant you a new job that you don't already own. Summer tickets can be found in chests from different missions or granted to you as a login bonus. For me personally, I've found myself using the Onion Knight and I've currently upgraded him to Warrior status. I generally go with melee type warrior classes with RPGs and I'm really enjoying the job so far and I'm looking forward to seeing what the three other job upgrades are. I progressed into chapter two so far and I'm starting to realize that it's probably a good idea to have at least two different jobs around the same level so that you can switch them in and out depending on what job is best suited for that particular mission. I'll most likely end up having the Neophyte Ranger on the side in case I end up needing him, as Chapter 2 has a lot of earth based creatures which are weak to wind attacks. Of course, the Onion Knight can't use wind attacks, so it's making things a bit difficult. The good thing is, Mobius allows you to have four deck slots, meaning that you can set up each slot completely different, with a different job and ability cards that suit that particular job. This means you can easily go between job setups best suited for specific missions, rather than having to constantly be switching jobs and ability cards around. Also make sure that you are equipping your job with the correct ability cards. Cards are not only organized by elements, but also job category. These are Warrior, Mage, and Ranger, and are displayed by the appropriate icons to represent the job. So if you're playing a warrior based job, be sure to equip him with cards that have the warrior icon on them to get the best potency and damage out of the card. 
However guys, that is all you need to know about the job system of Mobius Final Fantasy. Square Enix will be introducing new job cards to unlock as updates are rolled out over time, so when the game officially launches, be sure to keep an eye out for them. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.